Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I have a bunch of new Australian drugstore makeup products to test out. If you watched my haul that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago, then I am going to be using all of those products you've seen there. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up while you're watching and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. So first up, I have the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Primer. This does come in three different options. I picked up the Perfecting and Smoothing. So it says that it is infused with vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid. So it says it's meant to smooth out the skin. I kind of thought it might be like the Hourglass um, Veil Primer but it's a little bit different. It does have a gel consistency. You really don't need a lot and I just like to apply it on my T-zone area, so across my nose here, just where I have kind of bigger pores that I would like to smooth out. And then just on my chin. Now I have been using this for a few weeks now. I find that it does smooth things out a little, but I don't know if I'm really seeing like amazing, like outstanding results. You know what I mean? I don't have a new foundation to try, so I'm quickly going to apply that and I'll be back for concealer. Next, I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer, and I know that so many people have been excited for this release here in Australia. I do love the original 16-hour Chemo Concealer, but a lot of people did say it was quite drying on their under eyes, so this hydrating version could be a much better option if you have that problem. So I picked up two shades. Firstly, I have Fair Beige. I also have this shade in the 16-hour version. And then I went for Light Ivory. So this is a little bit darker up the scale because the other shade I have in the 16 hour version is really, really, really light. So I wanted to get something that I thought might match my skin tone a little better. I like that they've made it easy to tell the difference between the two concealers. The 16 hour camo has a black lid and the hydrating has a white lid. They have the same packaging, both with that very large doe foot applicator, which I really love. So the hydrating concealer is described to be a high coverage, hydrating and long wear concealer. So let's see, let me swatch them for you first actually. This is fair beige and this is light ivory. So I think I might go in with light ivory. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit and see how that goes. Okay, pretty decent coverage. I feel like I can still see quite a shadow on my under eye there. I might have to go in with a second layer. I do like the color match. I feel as though it blends into my skin tone really nicely. It's not too bright. I am going to put on a little bit more. It's definitely not as full coverage as the 16 hour version. It is leaving a really beautiful finish, very smooth, and I can see that it's hydrating. It has quite a luminous finish. See, I feel like when I turn my head, you can see the luminosity there. Hmm. It's not bad. I just thought it would be a little bit more full coverage, but that's okay. I think I will keep testing this out over the next couple of weeks and get back to you with a full review. I can compare the swatches to the full coverage version, give you a lot more information and let you know how I actually get on with it. Okay, let me put some color into my face now that I am completely blanked out. I have the Models Prefer Natural Glow Bronzer in the shade Sunlit. This was quite an impulse purchase. I was just browsing at Priceline when they had their sale recently. It does look quite cool undertoned, which is why I picked it up. And it does have a bit of a gold shimmer in it. So hopefully it's not too glittery, but we will see. I wonder if you can see the gold shimmer. I'm going in with my Zoeva 126 Lux Cheek Finish Brush. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. The color is nice. And I don't feel as though it's extremely glittery or shimmery. Let's keep building it up. I 
I definitely can't see a glitter on my cheeks as well. There is a little bit of a sheen, which is quite nice. Thank God, because I wasn't looking for a glittery bronze. Excuse me? <laughs> glittery bronzer. <laughs> all right, well, I think that blended out really nice and it's not patchy at all. So, so far, so good. Next, I have the Amco Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint in the shade Tango. So this can be used as a liquid blush or a lip product. It says that it is blendable, quick drying, has a natural flush of color and is for the face or lips. I have applied powder all over my face as well. So I hope that this can blend over the top of powder. This is what the color looks like, quite bold. It is a rather thin consistency, similar to the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb. So I think I might go in with my finger and um, see how it goes. I always get really nervous like using liquid blushes because, especially for the first time, because if they don't work out, it's like, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh my God. Okay, let's start patting. Okay, I might go a bit more. Eee, I feel as though it's lifting up a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go in with my sponge. Okay, that's definitely putting the color down better. Like, it's more bold. Ooh, but that's definitely lifted. <laughs> okay, um, um, um. Let me go in with a brush on the other side. Okay, I can see the color there. Seems to be blending nicely. Mm, it is slightly moving the products underneath, but not as much as this side. I'll show you, hopefully you can see. Let me turn the brightness down. See there? Well, I think this side looks nice. It looks like quite a vibrant color, but on the cheeks, because it is so sheer, I think it gives a nice flush. I feel like I really effed this side up a bit. Let me just put a bit of powder on my sponge and lightly go over it. Mm, that's kind of helped. Then I'll go in with a little bit more over the top of that. Okay, that's looking okay. Whew. See, this is why I get so nervous, oh my God. So I find that some liquid blushes you can apply really easily over the top of powders and others you just can't. So this one, look, it worked well on top of powder with the brush. Let me turn that down again. Like it looks nice and smooth on my skin. Whereas on this side where I used my finger first, it just lifted the product right up. So brush it is. Next, I actually picked up three highlighters. <laughs> Oopsie. So the first one is the Models Prefer Luminous Luxe Highlighter in the shade Halo. Again, this was an impulse purchase when I was browsing in Priceline. I thought that the shade looked really beautiful for my fair skin. I have used it a few times. It does feel a little, a little dry when you swatch it, but on the skin, it doesn't look powdery at all. It's actually quite a nice highlighter. Look at that sheen. Yes. And then I picked up two by Savvy. First, I have the Mineral Baked Highlighter in Pure Pearl. When I mentioned this in my haul, I was saying that I know Anna uses a Savvy highlighter that she really loves, but I couldn't remember what shade. And she ended up getting back to me saying this was the shade that she loves and uses. So that was a good guess. <laughs> so let me give this a swatch. It's quite a similar shade to the Models Prefer. I think the Models Prefer just is a little more golden. Far out, like look at that. So glossy. And then the highlighter that I'm going to use today is the Savvy Cheek Duo in the shade Rose and Shine. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know I am obsessed with the Savvy... I always forget the names of the things that I love the most. This, I am obsessed with this Savvy Cheek and Lip Color in the shade Sleek Rose. I use it as a liquid blush. And so I saw that they released these duos 
and it comes with a highlighter and a blush. Let me give it a swatch. Ooh, it feels nice and creamy. Quite sheer. Oh yeah, it's got a bit of a gloss to it there. So what I'm going to do is use my finger, just tap into the product and then tap on my cheekbones. Ooh, look at that. That definitely looks glossy. Oh, I love that. Okay, I am digging that. It'll be interesting to see how long it actually lasts on the skin. Hopefully it doesn't just like dry up and go away. So something I will definitely get back to you on. For brows, I picked up this Rimmel Brow Pro Micro Ultra Fine Pencil. Pencils have just been my go-to way for applying my brows lately, and especially these tiny little micro pencils, I just find they're so easy to use, and I can be really precise. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot of brow going on, so I do need to draw quite a bit on. So something like these micro brow pencils are really great because I can draw tiny precise lines and make my brows look rather natural than like really bold and fake. So I picked up this pencil in the shade blonde. One end has a spoolie and the other end is the tiny brow pencil. I'm going to start by brushing my brows up. Okay, the color looks good so far. I feel like it's really matching my brow. Let me zoom you in a bit, hey? Ooh, I am digging this shade. I feel like it's nice and cool toned. I'm finding that the pencil is a really nice consistency as well. It's not overly creamy. It's not overly dry. We'll see how long it lasts though. That is the question. Will my brows stay on all day? As you can see, I do like to fade the front of my brows a little bit. And that is another reason I love these micro brow pencils because you can just go in really, really lightly. It's not like a really big, thick pencil where you go too hard, too fast. Okay, the brow pencil is a winner for me. I really like the shade and it was easy to use, so. <laughs> wow, I've been spending way too much time on TikTok. Speaking of, I actually made a TikTok account just for my makeup, not like my personal account. So if you are as obsessed as I am, then please go follow it and check out my account. Anyway, moving on, I am going to go into eyeshadow. <gasps> oh, I am so excited to use this. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow in Cream and Sugar. I have been seeing Jessica Braun use these on her channel for so long and I have been wanting to get them for so long. They are finally available on the e.l.f. Australia website. They are only $7. You get four shades and they have quite a variety of like color story options as well. So if I enjoy this, I think I might pick up a few more. I also picked up these e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Eyeshadows. First, I have the shade Flirty Birdie, which is a really nice bronze. And then I have Dirty Martini, which is like a dirty green. So I don't know if I will use everything today. We'll see. Let me just quickly swatch these liquid eyeshadows because they look bloody stunning. And I'm hoping they're kind of like a dupe for the Stila ones, just at a way better price. They're only $10 each. Oh my God, they are so pretty. So the bronze one kind of has a silver glitter through it and the green has more of a gold glitter. <gasps> okay, oh my God, these are just so cute. I think how little it is. Well, I'm going to obviously start with this lighter shade. I'm gonna run that through my crease. 
So I'm going in with the Sigma E40 blending brush. If you didn't know, I actually have a discount code with Sigma. So I will link that in the description box. Now the shade is quite light. So let's see how it shows up on my skin. Okay, like you can just see that shade, like no eyeshadow shadow okay so that first shade is a lot lighter than i thought i can kind of see it like it's adding a little bit of dimension but not much so i think i'm going to keep it light and airy just like jessica does so i might go in with the bronze shimmer shade and put this on the outer corner oh my gosh that is so pretty <gasps> Oh my god, stunning. Oh, I just put it all under my eye because I used my big fat sausage finger. Let me get a brush, hey? Okay, so instead I'm going to be using the Sigma Shader E56 brush. This is just a nice, thin, synthetic brush. Perfect for precise shadow application. For shimmers though, I wouldn't use this for mattes. Oh my god. I can't believe the quality of these shimmers for such an affordable eyeshadow. <gasps> like, excuse me, ma'am? Sometimes with more affordable shadows, the shimmers can be quite chalky, or like they look good when you originally swatch it on your finger, but then once you put it on your eye, it just like, the metallicness of the shadow like disappears. This is the Small Tapered Blending E45. Just to blend that shadow, the shimmer, up into my crease a bit. Which is something I don't usually do. I don't really blend the shimmer shades up into my crease that much, but the matte shade is very light. So I'm just going to slightly blend that up. I'm going to bring this about three quarters of the way in and then I'm going to take the lighter shimmer shade and put that in the inner corner. I'm going to take my Sigma E15 and this is just a really thin flat brush and with a smidge of that darker shade I'm going to run that under the lower lash line because I do like to have the lower lash line a bit darker than what's on top i might even go in with a little bit of the shimmer as well to blend it out okay well i am quite pleased with these eyeshadows i do think that i would prefer this shade to be a bit darker and this shade to be a bit lighter so i'll definitely go and check out the other colors in the collection and see if there's something that could work a little bit better for me but these shimmers they're beautiful. Next for mascara, I have the Emco Beauty Extend Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara. So the formula creates water resistant tubes around each and every lash for maximum length, definition and hold. Once applied, the lightweight glossy black formulation binds to lashes and will not run, smudge, clump or flake. So let's have a look. This mascara actually has quite good reviews. It's just got a pretty basic wand. Okay, they are looking really long. I am just going to go in with a clean spoolie and brush them out a bit. I always find with brand new mascaras, they're just a little bit wet, which can make my lashes clump together. So if I just go in with a clean spoolie and take off the excess product, it usually does the trick. I'm not going to go in with any more. I'm just going to use whatever's left on the other eye. I'm just going to take a brown eyeliner and tight line. Whenever I do a like minimal eyeshadow look, I find sometimes my lashes look a little bit sparse. So filling in my tight line here just kind of brings it together a bit more. All right, well, I think the mascara has done a good job at lengthening. I wouldn't mind it if they were looking a bit thicker, 
but that's all right. We'll see how it goes. And then lastly for lips, I have the Astralis Girl Boss High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Lovebird. Now, again, if you've been here for a while, you would know I am obsessed. <gasps> I just felt that mascara. Touch that. All right, I'm just gonna let that dry while I open the lip gloss and then I'll scratch it off. But anyway, I am obsessed with the Astralis Girl Boss Demi Matte Lip Cream in the shade Empower. And this looks like quite a similar color, but it's a gloss. Oh, it's got a very nice applicator. It's kind of flat, but has a pointed tip. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, well this is, oh no it's not. I almost forgot, I have a setting spray. This is the Maybelline Glass Spray. In my haul, I was talking about how the sprayer was just like shooting out the product, it wasn't misting it. So I used all your guys' recommendations, I ran it under hot water, and then I got a little sharp object. I used my tweezers and poked the hole and it's spraying again, so woohoo. But it still is pretty like violent. It's like, like a camel spitting at you or something. So anyway, this is a dewy finish hydrating finishing spray. My favorite kind of finishing spray at the moment. So let's see if it makes my skin look any more glowy. Oh, see what I mean? That's quite a violent spray. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to hold it really far away as well. Okay, <laughs> enough's enough. Oh yeah, that's definitely added a dewy look to the skin. Maybe a little bit too much. Let me tap it away on my chin and my nose there. Something just feels off about this entire look and I think it might be the mascara. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I don't have as much eyeshadow underneath as I normally do or yeah, if it's just the mascara because I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I need some more bronzer. Hmm, is my foundation too light? My neck does look a little bit more yellow. Hmm, I don't know, I'm not going anywhere so it doesn't really matter, but if you see it, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think it is. Hmm, but anyway, I really enjoyed playing with these new products today. I feel like none of them were really bad. I am a little iffy about the mascara, like I said. I don't know if that's what's off about this whole thing, but I'm excited to dip into everything again, and I will definitely do a product update video soon. I actually have quite a lot of new products, or well, newer products to my collection over the last couple of months that I wanna give you updates on, because I don't always get the opportunity to use every product in a lot of videos. So I love doing my update videos because then I can just give you a quick little review, let you know my thoughts and if they're worth purchasing or not. So anyway, look out for that updates video featuring a bunch of these products. If you own any of these, let me know down below what your, if you own any of these products, let me know down below if you love them or hate them, what your thoughts are. I would love to know and have a little chat about it. Well, that is all from me today. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. All right, well, I hope you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.